don't need any stardust. Give it to someone else. You're running out of time. You're beautiful now, but you'll soon be just like everyone else. You will feel pain. Take the Ethra Sublimation. Let me free you from the pain of stardust hunger. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay away from me. Stubborn child! <laughs> to the three. Almost. I almost. The animal traits. Ritual knife. Ethrus. This must be one of the cultists. Nice way to recruit members. saw someone. Did they just disappear? Caged wagon. Looks like it's been used to catch a lot of people. It's hard to imagine living under martial law for a thousand years. There's a sword and a piece of high-quality cloth. It looks similar to Bion's sword. There aren't any new scuffs on it. It seems the fight ended quickly. High-quality cloth, adorned with lace. Looks like it was torn off by razor-sharp claws. This must be where the Adherence Guard and Marissa were ambushed.
fight with the other beasts. The Argus Bazaar is lost. What about the magic ballista? Well, the ones in the street have all been destroyed. There must be some cultist who knows how they work. Yes, they came prepared. They're intent on crushing the Legion. No time to hesitate. We must fall back. Order a full retreat back to Argus Plaza. Activate the defense array and get ready to launch Plan Iris. My lord, what about the citizens? Do your best to bring them to the plaza. It's our most solid line of defense. We bear the warrior spirit of Aethys. As long as we can survive, we have a chance to fight back. As for the losses, I will bear that burden. Great Lord, may you bless their souls and protect them from suffering. Yes! Full retreat! Flashing on the ground? There's a rose in the star right. Something this delicate could only be owned by an Aristoi. It must be Marissa's. There's some animal footprints. It looks like they've taken her. Maybe the neighbors know something.
I know you're in there, but you can't hide forever. inside. We heard the sounds of battle stop. Are the cultists gone? Yeah, I dealt with them. It's safe now. Thank you, stranger. It doesn't matter who you are. At least we're safe for now. What happened here? We're followers of the three. With the city in chaos, we're unable to come to pray. We heard that the cultists were busy with the sublimation, so we took our chance. You saw what happened next. It's quite embarrassing. You must be blessed by the three. Please, take this as a gift of gratitude.
Are you? My name is Hilda. This is Minerva sent me to help you. Oh, Minerva. She's my only friend. Lady Marissa, don't worry. You'll be fine. But the thing that Minerva wants, it's been taken by the cultists. It's in the amphitheater. Is it important? My mission is to take you back to the shelter. It's my father's research. It contains critical information that Minerva wants. She says it can help the entire city. Well, this mission's turning out to be more difficult than I expected. <laughs> Great. You are going in there? It's impossible. It's... it's Eulalia's territory. The amphitheater, right? I don't really have a choice. Can you make it to your feet? You're... you're so strong. Take the Starite. Once you use it, the Adherence Guard Captain will come get you. Will you come back after you get my father's research? Back to the shelter? Yes, I will. Thank you. May the three bless you.
look backstage. Here too. It must be Papa. He scratched out in a hurry. Just like the last one. Was he being chased? Papa, why did you come here? What are you doing in the Good place to hide important documents. I don't want to ransack the place, but I don't have much choice. On these documents belongs to House Rosa. Hopefully, Minerva is more friendly to me. Ethres, a word once spurned by the masses, has become a word that symbolizes salvation for them. In a world of chaos, a slogan, 
preposterous and impossible has caught on. False hopes continue to seduce the hearts of people living in fear. The songstresses and harpies soar through the sky, singing in exultation. While in the world below, the souls of those who died a wrongful death increase with each passing day. I should bring this back to Minerva first. Did you agree to let Quintus come and go as he pleases? Yes. There are still ways that Quintus can be useful right now. There's no harm in making things a bit more convenient for him. All right. That's a choice I just can't understand. Don't worry. I'll make sure we keep an eye on him. This is the information Marissa wanted to give you. You went out of your way to fetch it? Marissa said it's really important to you. Don't look like that, just pretend it was me being nosy. Well, thank you. You did well. Thanks to your help, Marissa is in the shelter. She looks to be doing well, and her emotions have stabilized. I'll take good care of her. Oh, that's good. And here is the reward we agreed on. Thanks. Don't forget our agreement. If you want the remaining Echoes, then continue completing the other missions. Is that it? Of course. What else do you want? Nope. Nothing. Please speak. Time is of the essence. looks new. And the handwriting... It's Papa! Now I'm sure that figure was Papa. The code word means that the mission's been completed. Could it have something to do with the conduit? <sighs> I have no idea. I'm not even sure if Minerva can reveal anything.
I've never seen so many fine tools before. And these blueprints. A starite heater, a magical spinning wheel, an arcane lock. They use starite in every facet of their lives. The only powerful things we make in our city are weapons. Even when Ambari's situation stabilizes in a few years, we'll still have a long way to go before we can catch up with Aphis. The Eastern Gate of the Bazaar. It leads to Fallon Academy and Stella Mine. The ice enchantite should be able to help me quench the magic fire ahead. The ice enchantite should be able to help me quench the magic fire ahead. campfire and markings nearby hmm this must have been left by the Northwind Legion that marking means 14 been searching in vain, and yet here we are. One of Harold's missing soldiers. Are you the one emitting the magical wave? I am. And I see from your garb that you're from the Northwind Legion. Hurry on to the fifth rally point. Harold's waiting there. Wait. No. I don't remember there being a young girl in the Northwind Legion. Who are you? I am Hilda of Anbari, a warrior of the Northwind Legion. On the King of Anbari's orders, I'm here to look for the missing Northwind Legion commander. They sent a child. It is most surprising. I'm not a child. And you haven't told me your name. Oh? I'm a partner of the Northwind Legion, and I am protecting them from succumbing to the curse. You may call me Eumenides. <gasps> Eumenides? So, you've heard of me. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I find Commander Harold. Please tell me where he is. I'll consider it after they complete my mission. Now, please leave. You're not the person I'm looking for. Wait, why would they ignore the King's orders and accept your request? Let me meet with the Commander. I must verify this with him personally. Oh? I admire your courage, child. But I thought I'd made myself very clear. You're working with Minerva. Your necklace has the aura of her magic. She gave it to you for protection, didn't she? That's why you could sense the signal I was sending out. And also why you're unaffected by the curse. 
I don't know what you're talking about. There's no use pretending in front of me. Tell Minerva to mind her own business. Otherwise, you'll never see Harold again. What are you up to? Did you threaten the Northwind Legion into working with you? You're more annoying than I expected. I do not like this feeling, to tell you the truth. Consider my suggestion, child. I will not be as polite the next time we meet. You said I'm not... Hey! Wait! Damn it! The Legion's definitely acting on his orders. What the hell's he up to? And how does he appear and disappear like that? Minerva. I should probably tell her about this.
I knew you'd be here. The transfer order came. They chose you as the messenger. No, they are too cowardly to even let you know. But I bet you're as vulnerable as they think. I see. And you come to mock me. Damn you, Andres. You are the most despicable mercenary I've ever known. I curse you to the three for your ruthlessness. You waste your breath. Like the three give a damn about a robot like me. Maybe instead of cataloging my faults, you should reflect on your own mistakes. That way maybe your comrades' deaths won't have been in vain. If you had listened to me back then, you could have avoided all of this. Listen to you? And what? Use my soldiers as bait? You disgust me! Hmm. You speak as if their deaths now are somehow better. The casualties were far worse by your decisions. And the battle was lost. But I don't need to move my point. Your emotion is evidence enough. Enough! You are without honor. One day you will die filled with agony over what you cherish. You will pay for what you have done, I swear. Someone's hurt. Wait, it's Otto. Hilda, what are you doing here? Otto, oh, you're hurt. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not important, though. It's great to see you here. Uh, more importantly, why are you here? Let me stop the bleeding first, then we can talk. We lost contact with you for so long. It's why I spent so much effort getting approval for my mission to come to Aphis and check on the status of Operation Ashwind. Yeah, the Legion should have returned ages ago, but the situation was more troublesome than we expected. Then I can help. Where are the others? We split up. I need to find a way back to the Commander now. Were you the only one to go off on a solo operation? Um, uh, um... Tell me, Otto. What happened? Nothing. I'm telling the truth. All right. Something doesn't add up. Hey, Hilda. What have you all been doing since you arrived in Aphis? To achieve the Operation Ashwind objective, we were forced to negotiate with an Ephesian. He kept requesting that we go to dangerous locations to collect strange magical items or to install magical devices. You're talking about Eumenides, right? By the winds. You know him too? I met him not too long ago. He was looking for you. Is he someone we can trust? <laughs> I trust him about as far as I can throw him. He doesn't care about what we think, let alone if we live or die. Hoping that someone like him will selflessly come to our rescue is like trying to grasp the wind. Wishful thinking. Are you at least on track to achieve the original objective? That's the problem. It all depends on Eumenides' progress. Or so he says, at least. I saw Hathor in Gunnarsson's graves. How did they die? Oh, by the city gate? They lost their lives during the previous mission. We were surrounded by an army led by one of the Aphis Archons. It was hell. I could feel their courage as they handed me their belongings. So... you became there? Yes. Well... May the wind take their souls. May the wind take their souls. So what's your plan now? I need to return to base and meet up with the others. Uh... That's great. I'll go with you. Where are you supposed to meet? You're coming too? With your help, we'll definitely make it to the rally point. We're supposed to retreat to the conduit inside Fallon Academy's armory. Why such a dangerous place? We all have these magic marks that allow us to resonate with the conduits and teleport between them. Teleport? Is that also because of Eumenides magic? Yeah. Uh, we needed to go deep into Fallon Academy for this mission. That's why we decided on the conduit inside the armory as the rally. 
To think that teleportation magic exists. Aphis really is full of surprises. But I'm not sure if you can teleport with us. We'll just have to give it a try. I found this dagger. Is it yours? How'd you find that? I dropped it while fighting a terrifying giant crocodile. Oh, I killed it. And then it dropped this dagger when it turned to stardust. You really are something. We had a fierce fight against it not long ago, but it managed to escape. Well, it was already badly injured when I fought it. I really only had to deal the last blow. Either way, it's great that you managed to find this dagger. Otherwise, I'd be letting Hermit down. Do you still carry his ocarina with you? Always. There's no time to waste. Let's move out. All right. But the Aethys Legions activated the magic ballistae, so we have to think of a way to deactivate them first. I know where the control switches are located. I spent a few days reconning the area. Let's divide up the batteries. I'll take... No, you're injured. Let me handle everything. What? But I'm not sure... Knock it off. I said I'd help. Tell me, where are the control switches? All right. The control switch for Ballista Area 1 is located in the building to the right of the entrance to the military campus. After that, you need to pass through the building to the left of the entrance to the military campus and continue across a bridge to get to the second floor of the armory. Let's meet up there. Are you sure you'll be all right? When have I ever given you reason to worry? I always did better than you in the Northwind Trials. <laughs> If results alone were enough to convince people of your skill, the commander wouldn't treat you the way he does. Hey! <sighs> Forget it. You clearly injured your head, too. Thanks. Hey. May the wind watch over you. There's no way to sneak in. I need to avoid attracting attention.
smithereens when I step outside. Right. Time to meet up with Otto. I still have so many questions to ask him. So late while martial law is in effect, daughter of House Law. You didn't respond to my second letter, so I came to seek an answer myself. Why should I? To speak frankly, I've had enough of your whims, Ares. Saving Aphis is not a whim. Humanity said the same. Before him, was Petrus. It's naivete, pure and simple. I am nothing like them. I want people to return to normal, just the same as you. If you just provide me the resources, I can help. <laughs> House Lord requires more star rights? I don't care about star rights. What I need is the right to move around freely and a team to command. House Rosa can help me interpret the ancient text in the Shrine in the Deeps. I just need soldiers and equipment to escort them down there. Squadron. With you in command? <laughs> you really think you have the authority? Many of our soldiers made the ultimate sacrifice to quell the mind. Taking such a risk for your unfounded theory is simply out of the question. Go home, daughter of House Lord. Keep your nose out of such things. Otherwise, I'll have you imprisoned, maybe even turned to dust. How dare you? Oh, I can do so much more. Now get out of my office, woman. You're a fool, Marvel. <laughs> Perhaps the truth is that we're equally foolish. Going round and round in circles, never reaching anywhere. Good night, Minerva. I'll let you see yourself. If we arrest all the 
transgressors. We'll have more in the prison than out. Understood. Inform everyone. I am declaring a state of emergency and a call for citywide martial law. Archon, I have no objections. But I'm afraid it will be difficult to control the entire city with our current manpower. Then start with the Aristoi area and the citizen areas. After that, order the Aristoi to hand in their star rates. The Archon of Civilians has agreed that the stardust the people need must be controlled by the government. Only when we shoulder this responsibility can we save Amethus. Yes, my lord. A martial law will remain in effect until the curse is removed. Everyone should be prepared for the long struggle that lies ahead. We must remain resilient in the face of chaos. This is the moment when Aethys needs us the most. Understood, my lord. It's an honor to fight alongside you once more.
Odo, what is he looking at? Hey! Hilda! I can't wait any longer. Don't go looking for a meal. Owen. It's a message from Owen. What's going on? Did something happen to Emil? Emil, could he have been captured? Captured? What have you all been doing? You've got to tell me, Otto. I... I can't disclose the details of the mission. My mission is to determine the progress of your mission. I have a right to know the details. All right, fine. I, I got it. Don't push so hard. Did something go wrong during the mission? We were originally carrying out Eumenides' request deep within Styx. The mission was progressing smoothly at first. Drake was our team leader. But we didn't have enough intel. We encountered a prison guardian just as we were leaving. It was powerful and bizarre. It hindered our exfiltration. How many were in your team? Seven of us in total. Owen, Emil, and I managed to escape to Fallon Academy. But I don't know what happened to the rest. The commotion in the prison immediately alerted the Ephesian soldiers in the academy. In the chaos, I was separated from Owen and Emil. Then the Ephesian soldiers activated the magic ballistae. You know the rest. At least now we can confirm that Owen managed to get out. Hilda! We can use the magic mark with that conduit there to meet up with the commander. Otto, wait. Although my mission's important, our brothers could still be in danger. We can't just ignore them. That would be disobeying orders. Drake's order was to retreat. The commander didn't give us permission to do this. Be flexible. We can meet up with the rest after finding the others. That doesn't mean we're disobeying the order, does it? Let's start with the areas where patrols are at their weakest. We should find some way to proceed. I, um, yeah, you're right. There he is. That's my partner. Thank you, Hilda. Without you, I could never be this determined. Marshall Tower is where I was separated from Emil. Let's go there first! Right! Just like we used to. I'll clear the path, and you find opportunities to follow behind.
Our brothers must have fought a fierce battle here. This spear was made in Anbari. It's heavily damaged. Looking closer, I can tell that it's the head of Emil's spear. But the blood... Ephesians don't bleed anymore. By the winds, Emil and Owen must have fought hard here. I'm getting more worried. Personnel on alert. Don't let the intruder escape. Step up the search near the Marshall Tower. Eliminate any suspicious persons on sight. Damn it, is that Otto or Emil? The enemy's on high alert. There are 
traces of blood here too. last-ditch effort before he died. Yeah, it's his guardian spell. He's particularly good at it. But without its master to direct it, now it just attacks anyone who tries to approach it. It's like a child that's lost their parents, lashing out in grief and anger. I should have made up my mind earlier. Damn it. No, this isn't your fault. There's no use regretting it now. I'll remove Emil's guardian spell. I have to. But it doesn't differentiate between friend and foe. It's sure to put up a strong resistance if you try to dispel it. I know. You can find the artifact that Emil used, but won't see us as the enemy. What are you planning to do? Go for it. There shouldn't be a problem if we're together. Confident as always. But lifting the Guardian spell will cause strong magical waves, and it'll definitely attract the enemy's attention. Leave the fighting to me. You just lift the spell. I'll do my best. Let's get started. They're here! Leave it to me. Don't get distracted. the magical nodes.
Emil. He was brash. But he was also the one who helped me the most during the magic exams. He loved joking around. Always telling me to save up for my marriage fund. I... I... <laughs> Otto. Now that you're holding his belongings... You're his sole heir. Say the prayer. Call on the winds to take away his soul, and guide him to peace. <sighs> oh, may the sun forever shine upon your bravery. May the moon lead you on the right path. And may the wind guide your soul. Emil, my brother forever. His soul will definitely be comforted by you, Otto. I... I want to go to Styx to find the rest. I... I don't want to mourn anyone else. We'll go together. Thank you. I know a safer path, but we'll have to make a detour. All right. Go ahead and wait for me at the entrance to Styx. There's something I have to take care of first. What? To find you and the others, I made a deal with an Ephesian named Minerva to gather information. Minerva? Oh. Since we're already here, I just need to get what she wants. I'll meet up with you soon. All right. If I'm not wrong, the switch for the last ballista is located in the Marshall Tower. You'll be safer once you turn it off. Understood. Remember, wait for me at the entrance to Styx. I'll catch up with you. May the wind watch over you.
1286, the age of knowledge. I, Archon Petrius, am honored to announce that the Templar Initiative has achieved a great breakthrough. The 12 years of research that the Dima Eustic Academy and Fallon Academy have been working on together has finally borne fruit. Starlight is our strongest weapon. The researchers at the Dima Eustic Academy will assist in training the Templars. The Aethys Legion will become even stronger. Our brave soldiers will bathe in the grace of the gods, go forth with their power, and return in triumph. Those who have a desire to wield this magic can register today. After three years of intense training, you will be given the chance to become a Templar. Let's thank the Archon of Clergy for his dedication and selflessness. Long live the glory of Aphis! Yes, long live the glory of Aphis. pigment made from stardust but it's been used to write in the northwind legion's code let me see this is the barracks stay vigilant this must have been left by owen he's always thinking on his feet paying attention to his surroundings to warn his fellow soldiers i hope he's safe against Petrius. Is this how the Satanists shows her gratitude? Archon of Legion, rather than caring about what I think, you do well to focus on the evidence before you. Oh, don't be mistaken. I admire your spirit of impartiality. Perhaps your place belongs in the Legion. I was just making sure that you have thought this through. The deeds and conduct of Petrius are straight from the doctrines of the gods. Those detestable experiments he has performed are more than enough to convict him. And those specimens that got away became a soft spot for you. In order to keep them from the public, you've already paid with the lives of the Legion's soldiers. The whole affair might even sully your innocence. Yes. But my innocence is still beyond reproach, and surely none of your concern. Certainly, we would never dare to doubt your innocence, my lord. But we can never be too careful if someone feels so inclined to cause trouble. Uh, making accusations against an archon of clergy is no trivial matter. I'll need to get more senators endorsements. There is no more powerful testament than the evidence we have here, and no other evidence can have greater credibility. <laughs> you only need follow the law, and we will assume all liabilities and risks. There's no way you can be implicated. And don't worry about public opinion. The resident policy is on its way, and now is the perfect opportunity to oust him. <laughs> and you have all the advantages. How convenient. Let's discuss this later. The time to act is now. 
send a message to me. Thank you. Save your gratitude until after we have successfully arrested Petrus. Now, you'll pardon me for not seeing you out. This document is from a very long time ago. There were records of magical mutations even before Asteragos. But they were covered up? Etheris. So that person really existed. I thought he was symbolic. Even after hundreds of years, Etheris's influence is still so far-reaching. It's terrifying. I wonder what link this has to the cultists and sublimation.
This must have happened before Asteragos. Minerva has a brother. That's surprising. And it looks like he really loved the lion that fought beside him. But the animal was easier to get along with than Minerva. Hmm. What would he think if he saw what Minerva has become now? Any outsiders plot to sabotage the Academy or the prison must suffer the consequences. Execute the Stardust penalty. Burn the outsider! Yes, sir! Activating the iron. is the most fitting way for you to die. Take your soul. Centurion is dead. What? Wait! Stop the energy transfer! Shut it down! Oh! What are they doing down there? Don't waste the prisoners!
is the Iris. I should meet up with Otto next. He should be waiting for me along the way to Styx. There shouldn't be an issue if I give Minerva the Iris later. Finally, you're here! Sorry I kept you waiting. It's lucky we split up. I ran into some giant statue thing, but I managed to defeat it. How about you? Smooth sailing, I'm sure? Mm-hmm. I just took down two giant statues. Huh? No kidding. You're amazing. But I'm sure I could take you. If I wasn't injured. It's still too early to celebrate, though. The end of this path is sticks. I've checked. There are no traces of our brothers along this way. Then we need to get inside. Yeah. Find anything special in Fallon Academy? Maybe. I found this while I was searching for our comrades. It doesn't look like army property. <gasps> this emblem! How could it be? And there's an animal's bite mark on it. Mind if I keep this? It's weird, right? And yeah, you can have it. It's not as if I have any use for it. Let's go to Styx. Our brothers are waiting for us. All right. So, can you tell me more about what happened? I'm still curious. It's a long story. People often overlook the price one pays. The choice is made. However, with choices comes sacrifice, which is why power is all the more important. Those who fail are consumed by regret. But those who persist will grow with every trial. find myself back here. Hilda, we're doing the right thing, aren't we? Of course. Making the right call based on your own judgment is an ability we all need to have. I've said it before. Be more confident in yourself. I know. Hey, don't worry. We can do it. I'm fine. I'm just so angry. If it weren't for that thing, none of this would have happened. Wait, look. The gates are closed. Something must have happened. I'll check it out. Damn it. Closed. There's no other way in. Looks like we need some time to figure this out. Then I'll meet you back here later. I've got to go take care of some other things for the adherents first. Is that Ephesian really worth your continued cooperation? I promised her, and you should never go back on your word. All right. May the wind watch over you. Just don't put too much faith in that woman, all right? Yeah, I got it. I'll be back soon. <laughs> you sound like you didn't take anything I said seriously. Oh well. With a little more time, I'll definitely find a way. I should bring this back to Minerva first.
This is the iris that you wanted. It really is an extremely dangerous and powerful weapon. I won't turn it on any living thing. Does that allay your worries? Here, the echo we agreed on. By the way, I encountered a strange person. Or was it a ghost? I've never seen anyone that weird. He said he was called Eumenides. What? Why would he appear before you? What did the two of you talk about? According to him, my continued cooperation with you will endanger my father. Why would he say that? Whatever he told you, it's an exaggeration. I know that man. Looks like you both know each other very well. I don't wish to discuss him. But I don't know anything about you, or this place. You... <laughs> no, never mind. I'm the one who is acting out of line. I'll assume that's... an apology? Don't push your luck, Hilda. Alright. Something else. I met a fellow member of the Northwind Legion there. Oh? Only one? The Legion was carrying out a mission nearby two weeks ago. An unexpected incident caused him to be separated from his comrades. That's interesting. Humanities will definitely not be able to tolerate such a mistake. Your friend should be careful. Is that so? Um, actually, I was thinking... May I request that you allow my friend to stay in the shelter should the need arise? Hmm. There won't be any changes to my cooperation with you, if that's what you're worried about. I'll agree if he accepts to being monitored, and he must not leave the shelter until our cooperation ends. By the winds, that does sound reasonable. <laughs> but he has to agree to come. Hilda?